In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on using the color lookup table, often referred to as LUTS or CLUTS, C L U T S, in PowerDirector version 19. If you're an owner of PowerDirector 19 or if you're an owner of PowerDirector 365 and you've upgraded the September upgrade, this will apply to you. Some things have changed and we like to cover a bit of that as we show you how to use color lookup tables. First thing I'm going to do is I have a clip on track number one. I'm going to click on it to highlight it. And then to get to the color lookup tables, I go to the effect room. I can click on the FX or press the F4 key. That will get me some of the effects that I have available. Now you notice I have one here that says Color LUT. If you have never downloaded any LUTs using the CyberLink Application Manager, this category will be empty. And so what you'll have to do is go to the Application Manager or some other tool, download a color lookup table, at least one, and then reload the program. Then you will see this. I recently upgraded a computer and I didn't see this was scratching my head and unless you have some available this particular category will be empty. So that may solve that problem. So what I'm going to do is go through the options I have. Here I have just a couple. I have one imported and one outdoor. I'm going to click on the outdoor one I'll, then I'll minimize my categories on the left and then I'll pick a color lookup table. I'll take the outdoor warm and I'll drag and drop it onto my video clip. And immediately you see the change in the video clip. Now it may turn out that this might not be the one that I want to use. How do I change it? Here's the trick. With the clip highlighted you click on the effect button above the timeline. And here it shows my color LUT Outdoor Warm 06. If I want to see what the video plays like without that applied, I just uncheck the box on the left and I have the original. And so I can play that and see what it will look like without that applied. If I want to see with it applied, I simply check the box again. And now I see the effect and what it will look like with that effect applied. If I want to remove it completely, I've got my box checked and I hit the minus key below the white square and that will remove it completely from my video. So if I want to go Outdoor Warm 1 instead, I can drag that and drop that LUT onto the clip. If I want to check before and after, I click the Effect tab above the timeline again and there it is playing with it. And if I don't want it, I'll see what it looks like a regular and I could choose whether I want it to be applied or not. You cannot modify the LUT, but you can either use it or decide not to use it. Again, I'll select the minus. Let me try a colder look and that might work better. Let's try outdoor cold. Drop that on. And now I can simply play it that way. Well, I like that. That's a better look. That might be one I would want to use. If you want to switch between one color LUT and another, you don't have to erase the former one. For example, I can take Outdoor Cold 6 and drop it on my video, and it will apply that. If I am done looking at it and I think it's not quite the one I want, I'm going to go to Outdoor Cold number 3, drag and drop that, and that will simply replace the LUT. It will not give you two. To verify that, I click on the Effect button again, and I look at Color LUT. It's Outdoor Cold 03. So again, we use the same process to remove them if we want. I'll do that, and you notice my icon disappeared on the lower left corner of my video track. You can try as many different ones as you want, and simply click on the one that you like the best, Again, we've already given you the procedure for removing them completely if none of them satisfy you. So those are the ways you can apply a LUT, preview a LUT on or off, or remove a LUT from a video clip in PowerDirector 19 or the most recent upgrade to PowerDirector 365.